So this is a, a completed uh, little Proteus power feeder. This is the power feeder that I'm offering in kit form, and I'm offering at various levels of completedness. And so I want to go over those options so you can decide what makes the most sense for you. The, the least expensive option is, is hardware only. That includes the feed rollers, the steel shafts, and the springs and bearings, basically all the parts that you'll need uh, to, to complete the, the, the completed power feeder, except, the, except for the wooden parts. And uh, you should only choose that option if you have the ability to make the gears and the plywood plates that hold the bearings with great precision. So I really recommend that you only at attempt to make those parts if you have CNC equipment. I include the digital files to produce them. It's theoretically possible that with great care you could trace and trace uh, the, digi the, the drawing uh, that I provide and cut them with a bandsaw and use a drill press, but you'd really uh, you'd have to be very, very careful. I've never even attempted to do it myself. Uh, so in, in general, I only recommend this uh, this op uh, I only recommend this option for people who who have their own CNC routers. Otherwise, spend the extra twenty-eight dollars and get this kit. So the next level up uh, includes parts that um, a lot of woodworkers will be able to make themselves fairly easily. Uh, basically, your 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 these are the parts to make this uh, elevation holder as I call it. And these parts uh, have to be made with precision, but it's precision that you could easily obtain with just carefully setting fences using a, a drill press and, you, and you'll need a table saw. And uh, there's, uh, I provide very detailed instructions uh, and a lot of people will be able to make, them, make this themselves if you, uh, you you'll basically you'd save $75 by making this yourself, so sort of you know think about your own skills and time, and then at the highest level, I uh, include the parts to make the the basic holder, and this is even simpler than working. Uh, it also includes uh, the sort of the guts of the hold that's used uh, as as part of this this uh, bandsaw holder here, and that's the device used to hold the feeder on a bandsaw for resawing. So you'll, st you'll still have to uh, provide your own larger plate, which will be sized to your bandsaw. Uh, so that's an extra $50 for those parts. And uh, what isn't provided in any of the kits uh, is uh, material for the, the hand wheel itself. I include this hardware and even this hardware, but you have to provide your own piece of wood or plywood to make a simple disc and it doesn't have to be very accurate. Uh, I also don't provide the wood to make this uh, plate which supports the drill and that too uh, doesn't have to be super accurate, but it will be sized to your drill. Uh, I don't include uh, the, the, the switch, which is, uh, can be made from plywood or hardwood, and this is what's used to control the, the speed of the drill and turn it on and off. Uh, I don't include the knobs that are used to hold it in place. Uh, I'll have instructions for how to s easily make your own from uh, basic hardware store hardware, or of course you can you can buy these, and many of you may even have them on hand uh, yourselves. And then there are also uh, two knobs which are used to hold this the, the holder down onto track or uh, or just simply to the bolts in some situations. Uh, and then. Uh, the, the easiest way to mount it and dismount it is to mount these bolts in a wooden block that fits inside the track. And since, since people will be using different types of track, uh, I don't provide that. Uh, so you'll have to make this wooden block. It's fairly simple. It doesn't have to be made with great precision, just enough to hold, hold in place and space the bolts and hold them upright so that it's really fast to, to put the feeder on and off.
Uh, and then there's also for, for people who are uh, really ambitious and have time on their hands, uh, the, uh, the option to just purchase the plans uh, only for $20. And uh, in the plans I describe various ways of, uh, of making the, the, the shaft, uh, depending on whether you have your own metalworking lathe or whether you're comfortable uh, uh, Working with metal, uh, there are there are options that are simpler for use of simply using threaded rod. Uh, and if you purchase the plan and then decide, well, this is a little bit more than I uh, than I can handle, you can credit that twenty dollars towards the purchase of any of the kits. Uh, so I hope that uh, clarifies the the choices. Uh, I know it's complicated, but I wanted to just give everyone uh, the 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 optimal choice to uh, have a, a power feeder at minimal cost.